Welcome back to the program. New rules for how the Indigenous Voice to Parliament referendum will be conducted appear on track to pass the Senate. It would be a welcome win for the Prime Minister, but other key parts of Labor's agenda are in limbo. It's the final sitting fortnight before the pre-budget break and all eyes are on the Senate. Honourable Senators. The Greens will decide the fate of Labor's election commitments. The first fight is over proposed changes to how referendums are conducted. It sets the rules for the voice to parliament vote due later this year. This bill provides a foundation for a fair and transparent referendum. The Greens want changes to boost engagement and access to early voting in remote communities, but the party says it won't stand in the way. We're working with the government to try and ensure that that passes. Even with the Greens, Labor needs at least two more crossbenchers, and it appears they'll get them. It is providing much-needed updates to how referendums are conducted. I really implore uh, people in, in, in this place to, to embrace this. We don't have too much problem with that. We're pretty happy with that. The Coalition will vote no unless the PM provides funding to both the yes and no campaigns. It's what Australians expect. It's what Australians deserve. The Greens will give Labor a win on the National Reconstruction Fund but have threatened to block the $10 billion housing future funds with talks ongoing. This fortnight is also make or break for Labor's key climate policy, the safeguard mechanism. It aims to reduce emissions from the big polluters, but the Greens believe it doesn't go far enough. We're not asking for the perfect, we're asking for the bare minimum. We're asking for the bare minimum not to make the problem worse. Adam Bant wants the government to guarantee that emissions won't rise under the proposal. We understand we are not going to get everything we want, but the government needs to shift as well. Time is ticking to strike a deal. Trudy McIntosh, Sky News, Canberra.